All right, so Modulus is also a spin-off from uh, ETH. I recently joined as the VP of sales. So you will have a typical uh, sales pitch I give to my potential customers. Um, what is our mission? Our mission is very simple. It's crystal clear, right? So we know how hard it is to develop ML models, how hard it is to deploy them, and how hard it is to maintain them, right? So certain companies, as you can see here, they even struggle to deal with one machine learning model, right? Uh, when, when facing uh, several customers in the field uh, on a weekly basis, we, we understand that some of them, they've been trying to make models, uh, or let's say the, the, the life cycle to create a model is between 12 and 18 months, right? With an 87% failure rate. This is quite incredible, right? So you think about as a data science uh, that uh, not all the companies can actually afford data scientists first, and not all of them, they can actually attract them right so data science ten tends to go to the big companies where they get big bucks right so how how do we actually democratize ai so that's exactly our mission we need to make ai so simple for any company to introduce into their basically business uh, operation environment that that you don't need basically uh, expert resources right so we do have already quite few customers some of them they've been extremely happy and uh, most of them overall, they're really, they're really happy about uh, uh, the amount of time they saved in order to create those machine learning models. Just to give an example from one customer, data science took three months to basically create a model, configure it, uh, tune the parameters and put it in production. We, in two hours with our platform, we achieved bas basically the same performance. Now that's a big saving, right? So this is, a, this is the view of our platform. So first of all, it's an end-to-end -end concept. It's data-centric. What does it mean? It means that we, we're gonna start from the pre-processing of the data. Uh, be aware, we are not doing data cleaning, right? So we're gonna rely on third-party companies. The company should actually uh, be applying the domain expertise in order to provide the perfect data set, right? So all what we do, we're gonna basically decide whether is that useful for the the creation of machine learning model. And then we come with recommendation. Remember this word recommendation. This is a system that is supposed to be used by non-data scientists, right? So it's gonna provide you a step-by-step -step guide and at each and every step is gonna give you recommendation. Hey, look, this data need to be cleaned. Hey, look, this data need to be done, blah, 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 right? So we need to exactly do this. The second point, which today is available as a product is the AutoML. Uh, AutoML is going to basically create a, a, a stream of uh, machine learning learning solutions. Are those solutions ready to be deployed? No, they're not, right? We saw in the news what happens if you really get it wrong. So we need to ensure that there are mechanisms in order to ensure quality, quality of the model. The model is performing good enough in order to be able to reach uh, basically the, the production. And at the same time, out of those models, right? We need to pick the best ones and the best one because they are tested against production data. At the end, we need to monitor. We need to understand if from an IT perspective, those models are working well, if there is a data drift, if there is a labor drift. Those are the things we need to do, right? Now, this is not all. This would be a one way. Really, the novelty here is to basically have this feedback loop that at each and every time of the chain here, you should be able to actually recommend whether you need to do something on your data right so let's see a little bit more into the details right in the in the auto data feasibility i say okay i want to have a machine learning model with this level of accuracy that's where we we set it there and automatically the system is going to tell you okay you need some cleaning oh yes you need to go and do some sort of a data acquisition in the marketplace the output is going to be a data set ready for AutoML. We enter into the AutoML, and then we're going to basically apply all potential models available in literature, right? Today, we started with the time series. We started the image classification, tabular classification, and tabular regression. I envision this over time to grow and uh, encompass uh, NLP, um, transfer learning, and, uh, and, and so forth. So. The, the output of this is gonna be an ML solution ready 
for flexible deployment. Once that is done, we enter into the probabilistic continuous integration. Here we can say, I want to have a model which has the probability of 99.9% .9 to be 1% better than the previous one, right? So we put a sort of a step in here. And how do we do that? We basically continuously test against the test data, right? Not only we are able to tell you if the test data, um, what is the optimal size of the test data? And we heard before certain uh, to label certain data cost even up to $10, right? So we cannot really shoot to have the, the largest test data possible available. Why are we doing this? Mainly for one reason. We want to prevent overfitting, right? So using over and over the same data set is gonna actually create, uh, create problems in the long term. Then the model picker. So now we have a stream of solution. And then every now and then we test it again, the, produ the production data in order to select what is safe uh, to deploy, right? Last but not least, as we discussed before, we enter into the monitoring. And this is where basically um, we check from IT perspective, uh, the resources uh, usage of the model. We check the response time, uh, we check the RAM usage and so forth. But most importantly, we go and check whether there is a divergence between uh, uh, production data versus training data. So that's called feature drift and then uh, label drift, which is basically attached to the ground truth. So this, this process here could take weeks, months, uh, uh, depending on, uh, on the data availability. To summarize, so what the Modulus, or Modulus has done here is a fully system guiding model, right? Uh, we want to simplify as much as possible. Today, we take the data set with a drag and drop and what you get as an output uh, is a dockerized, right, model with REST API integrated, right? Is ready to be deployed and is, a, is, a, is language agnostic. We have the first probabilistic CI, so this is like a, a data-centric MLOps. It's not the traditional MLOps that you see uh, out there. Uh, it's a closed-loop feedback. We discuss about this, so we want to minimize the cost of data acquisition. And uh, last, uh, last but not least, we only want to deploy models which are good for deployment, right? Thank you very much.